back. Well, next weekend is the 14th annual Ping Pong for Charity Tournament in Virginia Beach. It's a fun event that brings awareness to brain fitness and mental health. And here to tell us more about it is Ken Lees. Ken, thank you so much for joining us thank this you, afternoon. Thank you, Bethany. Thank you. First things first, people don't often hear Ping Pong for Charity. So what is Ping Pong for Charity? So Ping Pong for Charity is all about using the game of Ping Pong, the sport of table tennis, um, in our effort to improve mental wellness because playing ping pong, clinically mm -hmm. validated, is one of the best therapeutic exercises for the brain. Any activity is good for the brain, right. but particularly a little bit of ping pong. I like it. How's your game? Not good. I'm not <laughs> well, good at perfect. all. Well, perfect. You qualify. You qualify <laughs> for all we do. And so we have an event coming next weekend. Talk to me about what's going on. Yeah, so a two-day um, event um, starts on Friday, okay. October the 6th. Um, it, we kick it off with a celebrity slam fest social ping pong party. Nice. Um, that's our opportunity to really uh, make an impact with, uh, with those in the community that enables us to raise money and now support um, 11 charity partners that are all focused in some capacity with mental wellness and brain fitness. And why is that a combination? And you know, we talked about how it improves mental wellness and brain fitness, but why is that such a focus in these tournaments? Great question. Um, well, again, the opportunity to help such an important issue in our society, which is mental wellness, um, it just happens to be that, again, while any activity is good for the brain, playing ping pong is one of the best. Our board chairman, a neuropsychologist, is best suited to answer this question, but if you thought about you and I playing a little bit, mm -hmm. Our brains are being activated very quickly, yeah. hand-eye coordination. You may be anticipating my shot while controlling your temper <laughs> if you just blew yours. That's true. I don't know if I can control my temper as well. <laughs> I might be having to try with that one. Right. So for people that heard this and are automatically saying, okay, I want to come out, I want to do this, where can they go for tickets, more information, things like that? Very simple, thank you. Uh, pingpongforcharity.com is the website. You can get tickets for the party on that Friday night. Okay. The following day is an actual recreational tournament okay. for all ages, all skill levels, be it eight years of age to 98 years of age. We've got a place for you. Again, pingpongforcharity.com. You can get tickets, register to play. There's a beer pong event Friday night, live okay. band, we're cooking pig and chicken, <laughs> and it's just one big ping pong social party. It's a good time. And for people that maybe uh, don't want to attend and play, but they want to attend just to be a part of it, are they still allowed to come and hang out? Um, for Saturday, yes. Okay. Tickets are required for Friday night's party. Okay. Uh, but for um, anyone that would like to come and just check out the tournament on Saturday, free of charge, be a spectator, Come and play even if you want. Such a good time. Next Saturday and Sunday, the 6th and the 7th. You can go to their website for more information. Ken, thank you so much thank you, for joining us Bethany. this afternoon. All right. We'll be right back with more news and weather.